there's something else nearby too. Gasp, could this be someone be trying to approach Yuki-chan, who must be so lonely and lost without her teddy, and score with her? That's unforgivable! Our rage is on the verge of exploding. Ugh. It's it's no use. I can only tell that there's two <laughs> Of the two readings near Yuki-chan, one of them seems a bit weird. How do I put this? It was like uh, that sensei that melted earlier. <gasps> Could it be someone's fake? This isn't good! <laughs> My nose just won't listen! I mean, work! I don't even know where I am anymore! I wonder if Yosuke managed to find sensei. He did. You acting like a lost kid for you idiot oh shit oh god <laughs> it's a ghost <laughs> you look so spineless it is none other than i general teddy what's he just walking up to the real teddy for it's that shameless imposter again what's with its inflated ego first we defeat a fake sensei and now a fake me shown up Worse yet, this is the bizarre fake that caused me so much hassle the other day. Looks like I'd better give it a piece of my mind. Seriously? What a bearden you are! If you keep dawdling around, the world will go kablooey! Gasp, that's right, I can't waste my time here. Hey, why is the fake telling me that? Oh, is this reverse psychology? Is this weirdly dressed clone actually a good guy? Nah, impossible! Try to nudge me along all you want, but I'm not fooled. You're an imposter after my good name. Oh, what a rude bear saying such things after I try to be kind. Well, then, hmm. I'll tell you something especially good. Oh, well, his voice changed. It does not matter whether I real or oh, not. God, have you forgotten? You are the same as me. Nothing but a mere shadow. God, Teddy's shadow was so badass, man. Eep! Well, what's going on here? Just when I thought the fake stopped cosplaying as that puffed up general, its voice suddenly changed. How dare he say that I'm the same as a shadow? It's so mean! That's not true! I mean, I was just an ordinary nobody bear at first. But I met Sensei and everyone else and changed! I'm the one, the only Teddy! Sensei said so! Hm. Then tell me this. What would you be if you didn't have your friend? God, he's so fucking psycho, like. <laughs> if you are yes. able to see yourself until recognized by another, what are you truly? <laughs> That's. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not only you. All the worthless refuse living in this world is the same. God, he's he's like my he is my favorite shadow though. Like when it comes to all the different shadows they encounter, Teddy's is definitely the, the coolest one. And he was the hardest one, I think, too. You lick each other's wounds, finding peace by herding together. Deep in this rocket intimacy, you avert your eyes from the truth. That's not how it is. I just want to be with my friends. They're not averting their eyes either! Regardless, I will kill you slowly and return you and your persona back to shadow. Nice. He was pretty straightforward about that shit. Bring on the ring! Oh, here we go. When the fake puts his, its hand up, these red pillars go wham! into the ground. Hmm, this is just like when Yosuke fought against the shadow earlier. Let me guess, does this fake want to pick a fight with me? What's the matter? I've never played this Teddy before, actually. Well then, how about a wager? Whoever wins is the real one. <laughs> okay. I let that happen. There's no way I can lose this. I'll do whatever it takes to prove I'm the one and only Teddy in the world. Let's go!
Oh shit! Auto combo, bitch! Have a missile of your own! I'm not sure what's happening. I was saying, I thought his health was gone. No, I was putting my persona. Team plays kind of weird, but I kind of like it. Uh, 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 I did it! I get to keep being the real Teddy. I thought you didn't agree to that wager. Always this tiring. I feel more pooped than usual. Right when I get a chance to catch my breath, the pillars split down the middle and the red fog that I had thinned while I was fighting comes drifting in and moistens my adorable body. <laughs> this fog again. <laughs> well, that'll do. Hmm? Was this fake not really a fake? When Yosuke won, the fake went all blurp blurp and got melty, so why is this one still standing normally? A shadow with an ego. I thought it could be suitable for my scheme, but it seems I'll have to use the other instead. What? When General Teddy opens his palm, I can see those shiny thingies in it. Then just like that, they go flying into the sky like the wind blew them away. That's gotta be a palm of dusk. What are those shiny thingies? I think I saw them when Yosuke was fighting uh, too. What are you staring at? Your friends are already headed to the school. Why aren't you on your way to meet them? <laughs> you don't get to boss me around. But you're gonna What's go anyway. With you? you did all this to the town. You keep telling us where we're supposed to go. If you're the enemy, then why aren't you acting more evil? Yeesh! What a noisy bear. Your complaint doesn't make any sense either. Anyway, just hurry up and come to the high school. Well, it kind of makes sense. Once and for all there. I mean, Wait. he isn't a very good villain in that regard. Before I can stop him, General Tay disappears into the red fog. But I did hear him say that everyone is heading to the school. Why are they all going there? As best as I can remember, the school that Sensei went to is in the same direction that those shiny thingies flew towards. What is that? There's a huge tower standing where Sensei's high school should be! And what's that red fog swirling around? I think I smell danger from it. Enemies? The villain? I think for a moment. It looks like something bad's happened to Sensei's school, but I promise Yosuke that I find Yuki-chan. My nose is still all runny, but Yuki-chan's smell hasn't moved from that spot yet, so I know what I have to do. If the others are headed to the school, then I need to get to Yuki-chan. I'm sure Sensei and the rest can handle everything over there. Wait, wasn't Yukiko at the fucking school already? So where they are... Well, let's just make sure that it doesn't to be continued on us. It did. Maybe it'll open up Yukiko's route or something. Chie. And Yukiko. Okay. So that's going to be a continuation of this. We'll also see who Chie runs into. Because her stuff runs down that way. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 
Yosuke's merged with you, so like they'll be together, and that's how you get to fight as as him. That's probably going to happen here. Let's see when uh when does Rise's continue? Wow, we're oh we're not too far away. Same with Naltos. I'm sure it looks like they have well yeah, they must converge by that point. Okay, so we'll start with Chie's. Something to protect. Yikes, it's this late already? When I check my cell phone, I see it's already 11.30 p.m. Oh, let me try on auto. Looking around, I notice there aren't that many houses with the lights still on. We're in the middle of a long holiday, but it's almost tomorrow. This really isn't the time for a scrawny girl like me to be out and about. Muku? Muku! Jeez, where'd you go? I look around in search of my pet dog. Oh god. When I saw the rain had stopped and the thunder was dying down, I decided to bring him along on my training after dinner. I didn't count on him getting so scared of the thunder in the distance that he'd run away. Oh, why do you think I brought you? Taking off and leaving me alone at a time like this really isn't cool. Ah! You're scared of thunder too? What the hell? Oh, that thunder's been rumbling non-stop. What should I do? You you? No. I sat my cell phone and then shake my head. Yukun's probably spending some quality time with the Dojimas around now. His long holiday was already kind of ruined by that weird case, so I shouldn't bother him again. Oh yeah, Yukiko! Oh wait, she's busy. Oh, if I told Yosuke and Kanji about this, they'd definitely make fun of me. Kanji would at least come help, though. I think that one was pretty close. What should I do? Head back home? Am I remembering right that dogs have a homing instinct? While I try to figure out what to do and pick up the cell phone I dropped, I happen to notice the phone's clock. Guys, it's only a few minutes to midnight. When did it get so late? You stood there for 30 minutes? I'm still staring at my phone dumbfounded when the clock display suddenly disappears. Oh, here we go. Nope. I hurry and check my phone, but then I notice something strange. It's not just my phone. The street lights are off, and the lights in the houses around me are gone too. The only light that's left is... Red fog? I can't keep my voice from trembling. Something weird is going on, so why isn't anyone coming out of their houses? Why is it so quiet? It seems almost like the town's deserted. Actually, it's like the TV world. There's no way that would happen. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh, Chie. <laughs> My laugh gets sucked into the fog covering the area, like the fog ate it up and weakly disappears. With a sense of dread creeping down my spine, I look towards the hill where Yasugami High is and see something even more unbelievable. Wait a sec, what's that? Yasugami High should be down that familiar road, but what's actually there is a gigantic, awful-looking tower. Something terrible is happening right now. Almost on instinct, I start running in that direction. It turns out that this weird red fog wasn't the only thing off about the town. I'm in good enough shape that I should have been able to reach the hill to Yasugami High in no time. But for some reason, I can't get there at all. At first, I wondered if I had taken the wrong road in this red fog, but no. It's like the entire town has turned into a maze. And even though I've been running all over town, I haven't seen a single person outside. Seriously, what's going on?